everyone. Today's video is going to be some sort of review of the two new CoverGirl products. This is the CoverGirl Alessa Stay Luminous Foundation and I have it in the shade 842 and this is the Super Sizer. That's, that's CoverGirl Super Sizer. This is a new mascara. Um, it's kind of pretty but it's very big and chubby and yeah. So I have a demo of course of applying each product but I am, this is not my shade. This is too light for me. This will be like my very pale shade so so the problem with this foundation it's that it runs extremely pink and I, I mentioned all this in the video so that is like the biggest downside of this line as well as this the other one the stay fabulous one this one they run very very pink tone and that the undertone is extremely pink and it just looks wrong it doesn't matter what shade I pick it looks wrong on my skin so this shade darker, the one that goes next after this one, it's extremely pink. It's more pink than this one. This one kind of pulls neutral. Um, it, I can still see it has a pink undertone, but it's not too strong. So what I do, I mix um, my cover, uh, my cover FX drops. I mix them to make this foundation more golden um, and to make it. Uh, fit my, my skin. So that is my trick for this foundation. So that's what I have right now on my skin. I didn't apply it by itself because it doesn't work. I already tried it, it doesn't work. And the mascara, <sighs> this mascara, the mascara doesn't work for me like any other mascara that is not waterproof. They do not have a waterproof version as far as I know. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find anything about that. Um, so the mascara, you probably already have seen it. It has like the weirdest brush in the world that has barely any bristles in it. Um, the formula is very wet and it's very thick. So yeah, it packs a lot of product and you're supposed to like twist to like spread the product and it's kind of weird. I feel like it has like a learning curve. What I had to do to get those uh, lashes and you're gonna see in the video is to prime my lashes with a waterproof mascara. I put a very thin coat of waterproof mascara and I let it dry so my lashes will stay curled and then I apply this mascara on top. If I only apply this mascara, my lashes go like this. And it looks horrible. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna play the demo so you can see those things in action. I just wanted to let you know the changes I made for each product because this is, that's kind of, I'm sharing you my solution so that those products work for me. So what I have been doing lately with my foundations, I have been using my Cover FX Drops. Um, the reason why I got those are not ha not not because they provide coverage, but because they can change the color of your foundation. Um, but you can use like a bronzer BB creams that are out now to make any or anything that it's darker to make your foundations darker. Uh, but what I like about this is that they don't change the consistency of the product that you're using uh, to combine them. So this is in the shade G50, which is like a very nice tan shade. So I have been mixing a couple of drops here just to make it my skin tone. You can see the cover, the drops. I'm just going to put two drops. And I want to show you like just the color. Um, so, I don't know if you can tell how pale that is, and then it's gonna, it doesn't get absolutely like yellow tone, but it, it kind of neutralizes the pink, and it gets that nice shade. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna place it with my fingers and use my beauty blender to buff this into my skin. To so this foundation, and this is not the first time I use it, of course. Um, it has a nice coverage, that's for sure. Um, for me, a dewy foundation, I might be wrong, but it has a very like natural, luminous finish, and it doesn't look very heavy. This one looks heavy, like it looks like you're wearing something. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, it does claim to be like last. last like long lasting and full coverage and a bunch of things that you will be how is that a luminous foundation 
and I think it's just a regular foundation with tons of like shimmer in it because and the shimmer is not scary don't get scared by the shimmer it really you you can't see it on your skin um yeah so if you have tried luminous foundations and they are too maybe too greasy for you maybe this is a nice one to try I feel like it's not your regular dewy foundation for dry skin this is kind of just a foundation um, that has luminosity to it but it really is not really dewy or really lightweight or really oily or anything that okay so that is the foundation so it has good coverage but I don't know if you you can still see my skin underneath it's not like it's not really like a cakey coverage I will have to build it up to make it full coverage it's kind of a medium medium to full but not really full um, yeah so that's kind of how it applies as I said it's not a lightweight foundation um, it hasn't set yet but it's you, you do feel it on your skin. Um, okay, I'm gonna do more stuff to my face and then we'll do the mascara in just a second. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. Um, I'm gonna try to, to insert a clip of me putting this mascara by itself so you can see how they just don't work. This mascara does not hold a curl of lashes that are extremely going down like mine do, I already tried and they were like so it didn't work to give this a fair try, I'm just gonna actually try to coat my lashes with the waterproof mascara very lightly so that the curl stays I know I'm doing this video all wrong I cheated with the foundation by changing the color and then I'm gonna cheat with this one uh, but I guess that's gonna be grabbed out in my review of how those products just don't work for me by themselves so it's kind of I'm providing you with a fix if you have the same problem that I do so I'm gonna use the butterfly mascara those are my lashes with one super thin coat of the butterfly mascara so that the curl holds then I'm gonna use this weird brush and keep coating them so it's adding a lot of like they're ma they're ma it make it's making my lashes look thick and black so that's nice if you like that look that's nice Okay, so this is with just that one coat of can you see of the butterfly just to hold the curl. And this is how it looks with the one coat. Uh, I'm not gonna put another coat because I don't. I'm not gonna like it. So I'm just gonna even them out. So those are the lashes. Um, I'm gonna zoom out and then we'll finish this video. So for the mascara, as you saw, I it did a nice job coating my lashes. It did gave me. Um, I feel like they look nice for from far. Like they 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 look nice. I just it's not my favorite thing in a mascara. This is not kind of what I go after. I'm not about a fluffy fluffy effect. But it's a nice mascara. I wish it was waterproof so I don't have to uh, prime my lashes or put a first coat of waterproof mascara and then put this one. If this was like high end, I would return it, but it's not. So I'm going to keep it. Try to use it like that. That's the only way I can use it. But I, I'm going to wait for the formula to dry because I don't like... It's too wet. It's just too wet. It's too thick. And I guess if you don't have trouble um, with your lashes keeping the curl definitely give it a try for the foundation it's all right um, this foundation it's not a dewy foundation by any means for me dewy it's a foundation that looks very almost like my 
it doesn't look obvious like the phone you cannot see the foundation and it gives the entire face like a wet effect I know it sounds scary but yeah like like if it was just not sweaty or oily but almost you know the the pretty side of being oily I don't know if that makes any sense but the whole skin looks like radiant and, and very pretty this is not dewy this is luminous and the way I think this works is it has teeny tiny particles of golden like shimmer in it I think that's why it kind of reflects luminosity I'm not wearing any highlight I have blush and I have bronzer but I don't have highlight so whatever you see I'm doing this so you can, whatever you see reflecting are those little tiny bits that are inside but the formula is very thick just like the Stay Luminous one, just like this one but it doesn't it never it does set but it, it keeps, it's very sticky like I actually put this one in one side and this one in another one yesterday to check the differences this one sets this one sets and you cannot feel you cannot feel any stickiness it kind of feels like even soft and it's a nice foundation but this one always um, remains sticky but it's not greasy like it's not like it's gonna melt off your skin if that makes any sense it's not that type of greasy it's just sticky it's weird um, it does last pretty good time um, the coverage I will say is medium I guess you could make it f like full coverage but it is so thick that I don't like how um, it does build nicely but it's too heavy for my taste I like I like lightweight foundations. This is not lightweight. So it's so weird because, like, if I look to my skin, it almost looks matte. Like the texture of my skin looks matte, but then the the skin is luminous. It's such a weird foundation. It's not your regular dewy for dry skin foundation. I have dry skin. This does not cling into dry patches, so that's nice. Um. Yeah, if you're looking for a more full coverage with luminous foundation, this might be a good option for you. It's not my favorite finish in texture and it's very heavy for me. I don't like to feel this much of a foundation, but it's nice. I will use it. I'll keep yeah. using it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review about the new CoverGirl products. Let me know if you try any of those products, how you like them. Um, how do you, What do you think about the foundation? Do you agree with me? This is not dewy. This is just... A regular foundation with a tiny bit, bits of shimmer right that gives you luminosity um, yeah let me know how this works for you especially if you have oily skin does that work so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you next time bye